give them all of your love here in the front and from the back, Vincent Regan and Craig It is them. They're so lively. They wave, you wave back. A connection has been made. Please take a seat. And the microphone is just to your side. Hey, everyone. Is How it you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Okay. It's great to be in the Netherlands, I gotta say. Beautiful. Holland. <laughs> is the comfortable sofa? Too comfortable. Too comfortable. <laughs> this is the cue, the cue and sneeze we're going yeah. to do. Well, I think an obvious question. I don't want to take too many of their questions, so I'll take the obvious question myself. How well were you uh, versed in the lore, in the stories, in the fact that One Piece existed before you stepped into the live-action adaptation? Um, I had no idea what One Piece was. My, <laughs> my agent sent me an email saying that they want you to play Garp in a thing called Project Panda. And I had no idea what they were talking about, so I googled Project Panda, and there were just lots of pictures of pandas. <laughs> because uh, Netflix, like HBO, and they are crazy about secrecy, and about everything being hush-hush, and so they never called it One Piece. So I had no idea for like two or three weeks after I accepted the job, what the job was anyway. And then someone said, it happens to be the biggest anime on the planet. And then I thought, oh God, I better go and buy one. So I bought- Just one. One, well, I mean, I bought Romance, Romance Dawn, yeah? And so I brought it home and I started reading it and I thought, I can't follow the story. I have no idea why I can't understand it. And then I turned to the back and then I realized the back of the story is the start of the story. Because <laughs> it's Japanese, you, you, you read from the background. But no, I, I knew nothing, unfortunately, about One Piece. But by now, everything has changed. I know everything now. Yeah. Great. Oh, exactly the same. I knew absolutely nothing. Um, and I went on YouTube and had a little look. And uh, yeah, that was it, basically. And the same, I think Vince said everything for both of us. Project Panda was walking around telling everybody, I'm in this show called Panda. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> wow, and a Project uh, Panda movie. <laughs> and that was it, yeah. And I, I think we educated ourselves as we went along, you know, about the, uh, the anime. How about the, the, the younger actors? Did they, do you feel that they knew about the manga? They were educating you? Generally, I noticed this with my daughter and, and friends of hers and even my younger sisters. They know a lot about manga and anime that I have no clue about. So I can imagine that those younger people would, would say, no, 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 it's, it's like this or it's like that. They would educate you on what good manga and anime yeah, are. I think when the show got commissioned and castings, uh, breakdowns went out for actors and people were going up for roles, then I think the younger cast would have, you know, uh, done their due diligence and educated themselves about what, were, what they were going up for. Yeah. Um, but arriving there, they was all seemed very plugged into the anime and the manga, so, yeah. I, th I think younger people in general have more knowledge because they access the internet more readily than old timers like me and Craig, you know? So, uh, yeah, yeah, they were... More readily than people who are in the prime of their life. In the life. prime of their life, yeah. Exactly. Like Inaki and Emily and Taz, you know, they knew a lot of... They knew about the world a lot more than we did. They clued us in. They did. Well, now comes the moment that I kind of jump into the audience. Um, some of them know that I can do this, but can I do it again? Oh, yes, we made it. Wow. We made it. Wow. You're great. You should, you should be on a TV show. Really? Yeah. A, a TV show where people jump into audiences? Because that would be my thing. <laughs> He's quick. He's quick. <laughs> So, uh, if any of you have a question, just raise your hand, put it here, and then I'll come to you, and then, well, many questions, good. Yeah. Good afternoon. I really loved you guys in One Piece. I was just wondering, what is your favorite moment that you were able to film? 
if you had to pick one moment to say like, let's repeat that over and over again because I liked it so much, which moment would that be for you both? Um, well, I know he's sitting next to me, um, <laughs> but I would have to say that my scenes with Craig were the highlight of the series for me because it's great to work with an old friend because we've known each other a, a long time. We've done other projects together. Uh, and so we kind of like, we got into the scene and we, you know, we found the groove to the scene and it was great. It was a great dialogue scene. Uh, plus all the other stuff is fun to do, like the throwing cannonballs and stuff. But for an actor, it's just nice to have a good scene with great dialogue. And the good thing about One Piece, they had some great writers involved as well. So it's not just, obviously, the source material is wonderful, but the actual scripts themselves were really well written and very easy to act. Uh, yeah, I agree with Vince. I really enjoyed the stuff we did. It had a lot of depth to it. It wasn't part of the anime. They were fresh scenes written to drive the story forward. But also my stuff with the child, the young Sanji on the island, because it was a massive emotional thread. And when, as an actor, you're always looking for, a, for scenes, no matter how big they are. As long as you've got something of quality to do and you can, you know, move people or scare them or do something. Yeah. Yeah, scaring people. Excellent. Oh, yeah, I'll get to you as well. Um, what do you think the One Piece is? <laughs> what do you... Can I ask a question? What do you think the One Piece is? Um, I don't really know, honestly. What would you guess that it might be? Is it an actual piece or is it something more conceptual? Um, maybe like a taco? <laughs> What would you think the One Piece is? I haven't seen all the episodes yet. I don't know. Oh no! Uh, I think the One Piece is all about your dreams. Uh, One Piece is about the journey. It's not about the arrival and the destination. I think it's about striving to achieve your dream. And if you want to do something, if you want to strive for something, if you want to find something, that is the One Piece. And if you're always going after the One Piece, you're always living your life to the max. And I think that's the whole essence behind the show. That's why Luffy is such a loved character, is because he's so positive. And he's about, if you've got a dream, no matter what, you go and find it. You know, I think that's what the One Piece is. So if any of you have a dream, go find it. The One Piece was inside of you all along. <laughs> it was. It's, it's the red shoes that you were wearing. You just tap them together. Uh, did some of the actors annoy or irritate you during the filming? Yes, this guy right here. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, there was all, most of the, everybody I worked with was incredible. Everybody was pleased to be there. It was a fantastic location in Cape Town. Everybody was into their role. Everybody was cast well. It was a very enjoyable experience. Yeah, there was a really annoying actor on the show, but I'm not going to tell you who it was. Oh, yeah, there was. <laughs> <laughs> the One Piece. <laughs> uh, do you have any personal headcanons for your characters? Headcanons are just something you think the character would do that hasn't been covered yet? Or the character would Head do that? Head cannon? <laughs> oh, that'd be nice. What is that mean? <laughs> a phantom turn. Oh, it's a phantom. Oh, a phantom turn. Oh, I yeah. see, right. Yeah, anything, anything that you feel like your character sh should do but that hasn't been done yet is how I understand it. Uh, yeah, with Garp. Uh, he needs to lighten up a bit, maybe. Uh, because... Season one, he was very serious, and if you look at the actual anime source material itself, he's a lot more uh, laissez-faire, a lot more devil may care, but I think because the writers wanted to get to a certain point in the story arc, that they made Garp more determined and more serious. And so, if I ever did One Piece again, I'd like there to be more lightness in his character. Unfortunately, <laughs> I won't be doing anything again because my character was only in the first 
season because not only because it's very very strict to the anime there's no making it up so if you're not involved in any storylines then you're not in it as simple as that uh, I have a question what is your favorite movie favorite movie yeah just in general of all the movies on, on this earth which once upon a time in America hmm you don't want to choose but you must. Yeah, a movie called Come and See. It's a Russian war movie. Very obscure. Very obscure. Which you could have invented the title. <laughs> yeah. There's a Russian movie. Come and See. 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 Come and are yes. you are you actually good in cook with cooking? And if so, what can I do with this ore oregano? Oh, ore oregano is for savages. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a lover of oregano, as we called it. Um, and they kept making me do multiple takes, saying you're saying it wrong, oregano. Um, it can make things taste good that taste not so good. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I love cooking. I really don't. Um, yeah, basically. <laughs> and not just omelets, but also oh. more, more complicated things. Yeah, well. things like more toast. You Ooh. know, you know, omelets and toast. toast. <laughs> Some parsley. <laughs> Let's not exaggerate. Oh, uh, hello. Uh. What's your favorite devil fruit? Oh. <sighs> oh. That went through the hall like. Mine is, mine is, I don't know, I Um, <clears throat> now, if the devil fruit didn't exist, it, could I make up one? Okay, I'd like the devil fruit that could mean I could sleep longer. Is there a devil fruit for that? Uh, My superpower is sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Um, hello. Good question. Uh, you both played very paternal roles in uh, the live action. I would like to ask where you drew inspiration from, from real life events or real life people. Well, I, I'm friends with Taz, you know, who plays Sandri. We did a movie together, we did a play together. So we have a connection and a chemistry. I'm a father, I'm a grandfather as well. I'm very much family oriented man. So I could really identify with the qualities that I was looking for in Sanji and the frustrations that Zeph, because he loved him really, you know, to put him on the right path of life and to do the right thing, you know. Um, yeah. I, I suppose with Garb, um, he's more paternal in season one uh, to Kobe than he is to Luffy, because he only really meets Luffy um, at the village at the end of, is it episode eight? Uh, and so it's with Kobe that he develops that, in a way, father-son relationship. Um, and it's, it, it's funny because as an older actor, when there are younger actors on a set, and it's their new first job or one of their first jobs, you're always very, I don't think it's Paternal, you feel like a bit like an older brother or an older uncle and stuff, and you want to make sure that they're okay and that they're going in the right direction, they're doing the right thing. So I think it was elements of that that I brought in to working with with Kobe. Um, yeah, if that answers your question. Okay, thank you. Uh, what was your favorite set piece, and how much steak do you end up having to eat? Um, <clears throat> at the time. I was a vegan, <laughs> so I've no idea what I was actually eating. It looked a lot like meat, but it sure didn't taste like meat. And let me just say this, we spoke about this personally. Vince is a very dedicated actor, because when we did our scene together in the restaurant, I wasn't eating. So all of the shots on Vince, from the wides, to the overheads, to the close, to the mid shot, to the real close of his mouth, and he, 
had to eat so much rubber meat. Oh, I can't begin to tell you. And I was sitting there every time they'd say action. And I gotta say, he did it with such conviction every single take. I was like, and I know he had a restaurant booked in the evening to go out for dinner. <laughs> uh, suffice it to say, I'm not a vegan anymore. Hi. <laughs> According to you, what would Garp and Zeph listen to in terms of music? <laughs> Wagner. The, the, the Ride of the Valkyrie from Wagner. Yeah. I think Zeph's an old rocker. <laughs> A bit of every rock. <laughs> Metallica. Yeah. And a final question right here uh, to your, on your left. Um, do you guys still get nervous when you're acting? Yes. Uh, sometimes. It's a driving force. It's not nervous. It's a, an adrenaline yeah. that puts you on point, makes your brain tick faster, your heartbeat goes up, and you concentrate, and then you get in the groove, and you feel comfy, yeah, comfortable. Yeah. I said final question, but I thought it was later already. So uh, you were maybe I don't. The, the the line, the arch of tension here goes on because I'll do three more questions. Yeah, it's a, I'll, you'll beat me up afterwards. It's fine. Not no, you first, won't. Not your first rodeo. Uh. <laughs> I, did you guys ever felt pressure that you might disappoint One Piece fans with a live action? Yes, it it kept me awake at night um, because. Uh, if you go on online when they were casting One Piece, I didn't realize there were pages and pages of people saying who should be Garp. I wasn't even on the list. <laughs> you know, it was Arnold Schwarzenegger, and and I wasn't anywhere. And I thought, God, I'm going to disappoint the Netflix fans, so the One Piece fans so much. But you know, what can you do? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it did cross my mind, I've got to be honest with you, but when any role that you take on, all you can do is your best. Give it 100%, believe in it, and hope that the fans will, will like it, you know. I have a question for both of you. From every character in the entire One Piece live action, which one would you want to be except your mate, your own? Which other question, right. other character would you want to be? Yeah, I'd like to play... I think one of the most exciting plays, the guy had Peter Gadiot's role, who was that, Hawk? Um, who was that? Yeah, Dracula Mihawk. Yeah, Mihawk. <laughs> Mihawk's incredible, and the guy who played him was incredible. You know, the eyes, the, everything about him, it was a very cool part. You know, yeah. I mean, obviously if I was young and... <laughs> yeah, Luffy. Yeah, or Shanks, maybe. Shanks is a cool dude, you know. <laughs> That's Shanks. <laughs> Yo, Shanks. Yo, what Shanks. did you think about your character when you first read the script? What did you think about your character when you first read the script? I quite like mine. I was like, you know, ah, oh, he's got a bit of heart. He's horrible. Then he's got heart. And underneath, there's something quite warm about him. Um, and I think just because he cared. And so you latch on to the emotional thread of things. Um, but I was quite pleased. Um, I wasn't too sure because I didn't know the anime at all. So when I was reading it, I didn't know whether Garp was a good guy or a bad guy. Um, but when I finished reading the scripts, I realized he, he was a good guy because at the end of the day, it was about family, you know, and it's about looking after young people and making sure they go in the right direction in this world. So, um, yeah, uh, that's where, uh, that's how I came to it. Hi guys. What are your favorite villains in a One Piece? Favorite? Favorite one, yeah. Of what? Of One Piece? Oh, v villains, your favorite, so it's okay. <laughs> your favorite villains in One Piece? I'd have to say Mihawk for me. Who's your favourite villain? It's, it's maybe a little... Who? You, you were suggesting no, another villain, or... Is, is, is Mihawk a, a villain? Is he? He is a villain? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Buggy. Buggy's my favorite villain. I love him. And Jeff is brilliant. Uh, well, you're both really good actors, and, and you had to act in the, in the One Piece, which is quite goofy at, at times. Have you ever found yourselves in, in a situation when you had like went down our acting skills and just be a little bit like out of what you ordinarily do? If that makes sense? Not to me, but try again. <laughs> So, well, it's, it's, it's also, if, if any time they... Do you mean in real life, being in a goofy situation? Or... <laughs> it's okay. No, it's good. Let's find this, let's yeah. find this. Take your time, let's think about let's this. Think about yeah. Outside of, in real life, or...? One Piece acting, I feel like it's it's it's, it's, it's different from normal acting. Like, yeah, uh, One Piece it's is really like yeah. goofy and weird and yeah. all these yeah. things. Like if you find it, if you found it hard to just get into those things, like being goofy and being different than normal oh, acting. Oh, I, I see what you mean. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. 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 Because it was quite animated. It was quite quite. Heightened. Like the costumes. costumes yes, 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 in yes, the series yes. Are, are extremely goofy, but it's uh, it's but, the, the, through the source material. But so. the trick is, you have to play it real. You have to be real. I think as yeah. well, when you do a lot of theatre, which I used to do when I was younger, you do a lot of wacky stuff in the theatre, and it's very heightened anyway. You know, so in a way, One Piece was quite a theatrical thing. But like Craig said. Everything you do has to be completely real. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Heightened, turned up to the max. Yeah. Good question, thank you. We got there. We got there. <laughs> we got there. We got there. Answers were given. Great. Well, I think that they, they might have about a hundred other questions, but. Those are perhaps for another time. They will find you online and then send you questions. You can say, who are you? <laughs> or another time, another place. Another time, another place. Another I universe. think it's nice to know that the One Piece might have been within us all along, that we didn't need the black feather, that we just needed to flap out our ears and fly. Exactly. That's the wrong animated movie. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. A lot of love. You'll hear it from them. Yes, There's one more question. One more question. Yeah, yeah, this okay. must do it. Oh, he wants to high five you. Oh, yes. oh, oh, high five. More dead than alive. Oh, I've got a bad knee. I've got bad knees. Here it goes. <laughs> hey, more high fives. There's more high fives. Oh, high five. <laughs> oh that's how it begins. You're crazy guys. Oh. High five. <laughs> more dead than alive. <laughs> Hey, I can't reach anymore. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, can we, can we, sorry, sorry. Can we do a quick, a quick picture with the, with the audience? If that's okay, are you? A quick picture with the audience in the background? Before they run away? Let's do this. Just stand here, and you stand here, maybe a little closer. The millions of people, the millions and millions. And you're all happy, like, yay! We got it, thank you. <laughs> You're free. <laughs>